I really am so shocked and so taken off guard. Like I like because you're I know such a good liar. Because I know that you could read me. I love you, and I got you for I life, and you. I'm so thankful. Yeah, welcome back to my channel for a wholesome vlog. I am so excited. I am currently getting ready to go to the airport, which is why my nose is still taped. I slept in this tape, but I was like, I'm just gonna leave it on because you're supposed to wear tape on planes. I think it's like the pressure. I'm so excited because I am going to Fairhope for 4th of July um, for three nights, four-ish days, you know, two travel days, two full days. Normally I take off Sundays, but this this was, uh, I'm making exceptions this month because there is so much travel this month. Yesterday I literally filmed three videos and two campaigns and did so much computer work and like deep clean the house and just got ahead again so that this whole trip, all I film is this one vlog. So you'll get, you know, a few clips each day for four days probably of all the best parts. Almost like a highlight reel vlog. This vlog is not sponsored by anybody. So I can kind of just like let it be just like wholesome and whatever happens, happens. And we'll see. And I don't have to think too much about like what value am I gonna bring in this video to where people will, um, you know, care enough to watch it. This video might have no value at all. <laughs> To get to Fairhope, the closest airport is actually in Pensacola, which is Florida. And so it's a bit of a drive and it's, you know, quite a commitment for Jordy's family to come pick us up. So Jordy and I timed our flights to where we have the same layover and then we fly in the last leg together so that people, someone doesn't have to wait for someone for super long or we don't need several pickups, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll be meeting him in Dallas which is great because we're really excited to watch SWAT on the plane together. <laughs> and then same thing, flying out. We'll have the first leg together to Nashville and then we'll split off onto our own flights from there. So it's way more fun to fly with somebody than to fly alone. So I'm really looking forward to that too. Those are my updates and I love you and we'll see you either in the airport or in Alabama. Good morning. A um, sweet boy brought me coffee in exchange for using my shower because he's he's put upstairs in the attic. <laughs> so he doesn't have a bathroom, but it's like a cute like music studio slash there's a bed in there upstairs in the attic here. So he, he brought me coffee and was like, can I use your shower? <laughs> I think what's on tap for today is Jordy said sometime around three, there is a surprise that involves sailboats. And then this afternoon, maybe like four-ish, some people are coming over. And I think it's just typical 4th of July, like grill vibes. And um, everybody goes down to the bay where we went last night to watch fireworks. And people like paddle out on kayaks or paddle boards or whatever, because they shoot them off on from a boat. So the fireworks are over the water. Excited to bring y'all along for it. Wanted to say good morning. I need to take off my nose tape. But this is new nose tape that I got from Amazon and it's, I actually think I like it more than the one that the doctor gave me. It feels like less abrasive maybe to my skin, which is great. Oh, the rain is cleared and there's a fun new whip. Oh, this happened last time I was here that immediately my camera fogged up outside. We're gonna take it for a spin. Apparently it goes 26 miles per hour. Oh, maybe we need a towel, huh? Yeah, let's go get a towel. Let's go get a towel, that's a good, that's a good idea. Oh, I, I heard it's like a Tesla where when you take your foot off the gas, it just starts to break. Yes. These things don't come with seatbelts, do they? I think it's a Probably do. 
cart around. Wait, this is gonna probably make me want to get a golf cart someday. I think probably. That'd be so fun. Golf cart to the grocery store? Yep. <gasps> we should go show them downtown. Hey, yeah, the, the thing that I have learned the most by Look. dating you is how wrong I say to her. What am I looking at? Beige. She makes a lot of beige jokes at me because I love a neutral aesthetic. She does. Look, I'm in blue. Yeah, that's not beige. <laughs> it's not beige. <laughs> This little grocery store? The Fairhope Market? We haven't been in this cute little grocery store? Have you not? No! Yeah. No? There? Yes. I love grocery stores so much. Jordy's gonna teach me how to drive this golf cart, but I'm nervous. You know how you, it's, well, it, I know how to drive a normal golf cart, you got this. but this is like a Tesla where. <laughs> this is not like a Tesla. No, where when you take yeah. your foot off the uh, gas, even just a little bit, it's like a. Great. I heard all of the um, like the warnings from the family. Kind of spooked me a little. Okay. This is the this is the gas. Yes. Okay. I'm so nervous. You got it. Ah, okay. We're Ooh. going. Going to solid eight miles an hour, baby. You're doing great. Look at you go. I'm gonna try taking my foot off and seeing what happens. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> beep beep. Yes, stop. Oh, we're already home. Yeah. We came home in between outings and I spy a beautiful gluten free cake that Marjorie grew these figs. Did she grow all these berries actually? Uh, I don't know. Just, maybe just figs. The figs she grew and the berries we picked at the local farm. Oh, but they're still hand picked. Look yep. at that. Yeah, and candied. Image, image might have picked those berries. Good job, Emma. We are now venturing off to whatever this surprise is, which apparently requires taking the golf cart on the highway. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Okay. <laughs> there's not a seatbelt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's, what? I think there's, there is a chance that a sailboat, you know what, I'll go ahead and tell you. No! Okay, tell me. I'll tell you just a hint. Okay. There's at least somewhat of a sailboat involved. At least somewhat of a sailboat last involved. Surpri last surprise when I picked her up from the airport was a lighthouse. Yeah. And so now, rumor has it there might be a sailboat surprise. Who knows? <laughs> We've ended up at a marina. And he's adventuring to find something, and I'm not quite exactly sure what yet. I think he's looking for a specific boat. Hey, baby, it's George. I was just thinking back about this amazing week we had and the big decision that we both made, me to ask you to marry me and you to say yes. And I just, I don't know, I, th I think maybe what's so what feels so remarkable about it to me is that I don't feel hesitant or nervous or uncertain and it's wild to me that was such a huge decision I can just feel so so good and so excited I love you so much you're so kind and strong and sweet and, and smart and hardworking and generous and a really wonderful person and I want to be more like you when I grow up and I can't wait to grow up with you I love you in the last 30 minutes. Yep. You want to tell them? This surprise had to do with the sailboat and the rest of our lives. <laughs> what the heck? For some reason it's feeling even more real telling the vlog. Because you process emotionally through the vlog, which I is why I wanted you to do it. Do you're is, so right. This is your journal. Yeah, now, now it can become real because you share it. This was all a ploy. Yeah. I th okay, I really am so shocked and so taken off guard. Like, I, like, I was telling Jacqueline that I was like, I don't think that he would propose in Hawaii, but just in case he did, I was like, I don't think I should get my nails done before this trip because then they'll be three weeks old in Hawaii. And then I just did, I did literally so last minute, mm -hmm. but I would not have chosen my chuggy nails. <laughs> yeah, what are some of the things you did to surprise? 
Um, I planned a pre-engagement counseling session for tomorrow, which is fake. Um, I was looking for it. <laughs> we'll plan a, uh, a, a, marriage, pre-marital a pre-marital counseling, counseling session. I made this seem like a cute little date, but I made it to, but I did another date when you came, uh, like the to fake you at the date. lighthouse. Yeah, so I, I thought, another thing that I thought is I was like, oh, he's gonna do like a lot of these cute little dates so that like in a few months from now when he's ready to propose, like I'll be like, oh, it's just another cute little date. But you tricked me extra because it was the, only the second time. Yeah, yeah. What else did you do? What, what else did you I You want do? to tell them when you asked Chris and Carolyn permission? Oh, I asked Chris and Carolyn permission uh, while she was unconscious and having surgery on her nose. <laughs> I dropped her off at the surgery center and then I drove and we got breakfast and then I drove and picked you back up. And you were like, I hope you got some sleep. And I was like, yeah, I totally got sleep. Yeah, you lied to I, me. You I were lied. like, I slept yeah, all, I, the whole time. Yeah, you slept the whole time. Okay, I always thought, because you're such a bad actor that I'd be able to tell when you're lying about anything. I know, I wanted so bad to get you. <laughs> I worked really hard because you're I know. You're such a good liar. Because I know that you could read me. Also, apparently mom and dad are here. Yeah, they can, they flew in. Also, uh, they, they told you they couldn't make it. Yeah, because I invited them to 4th of July. Yeah. And then photographers were in this boat next to us and yeah. just came out. Yeah, we did a whole photo shoot. And they had we did a whole photo planned shoot. poses. We're getting, we're getting married. And I love you. I'm so shocked. I mean, I'm not shocked, but I'm shocked that it, today. Yeah. Like, I'm so... So glad. I got you. I love you. And I got you for I life. And I'm so thankful. That I'm gonna get married. You sent me a screenshot of a text from Marjorie saying we're taking family pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, so does that mean I shouldn't wear my obnoxiously red <laughs> Fourth, Fourth of July? July <laughs> which, like, I would never normally wear unless it's Fourth of July. And I was like, nah, I and don't know about that. You told everybody to tell me that I probably shouldn't wear that dress for the family pictures. Yeah, everybody was like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, gross. It looks, <laughs> looks dumb. And I told you, like, you know what? I finally think I like these pants again from tour this morning. Uh -huh. So that I would have a reason to like wear them all the way, but I knew I would have to like I couldn't like get dressed before going. I would have to like in the morning after you know shower what? And put this on. I did think it was I was like okay yeah. he he's wearing this for the family photos, which made sense in my yeah. mind. But I thought it was very weird that you put that on immediately this morning, right? Because normally you like Sweatpants would until wait the until the minute. last possible minute to yeah. put on something nice. Yeah. So I did I didn't really think anything of it except right. that that was out of character for right. you. And you want to show them the rest of the boat? Sure. Jordy's saying Carolyn helped set up the boat. Yeah. I cannot believe that they were staying across the street and I had no idea. Wow. As soon as I saw the rose petals, I was immediately very confused. Yeah. Were you confused? Did I you know what was happening until I knelt down? When no, I, I, I was confused when I saw the rose petals and then I saw the candles and then I was like, oh, I think I know what might <laughs> yeah. be happening. I'm still processing. Oh my gosh, you guys, okay. I'm gonna put the vlog camera down and just continue saying, oh my gosh, for a few more minutes. That's good. We don't do, do we have to go like right now or can we, we can, have five more minutes? We can have, yeah, because the, the party is for us, so we just go back whenever and then. Wait, really? Yeah, it's yeah. not just 4th of July? Nobody else is coming except for your parents and my family. It's an engagement party. He told me like neighbors and stuff were coming over. There's a lot. Come home to mom and dad. You sneaky, what? you sneaky, sneaky. So, and there's a whole like, and like that says Mikel and Jordy with an anchor. And the cake says she said yes. <laughs> How long did you guys know? How long have we known about? Oh, well, since. Since Jordy asked, him. but yes. but I know he told me that, which is so funny. Yes. But for this this day, I had, I had, I pretty came, much right after he yeah. came up with the really right. while I was in surgery. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that was, that, was that week. That's right. Yeah, the whole reason I got this was to take oysters okay. with you. Wipe your toes. <laughs> <laughs> with the oysters, that's gonna be kind of a journey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, awesome. Okay. Can we take a minute for the inside of this cake? It's four tiered, gluten free, with a lemon curd in between each tier. That is like so beautiful. Good morning. I woke up. 
woke up today and it's still real. Do you know what I noticed too? My mom's ring, the she is just a solitaire, but the diamond is the exact same shape. And mine is like the same cut as hers, but with five little diamonds, which is so sweet. Also, Jordy was like, I decided to go for a lab grown diamond because it's like more ethical. And I was like, I'm a lab grown diamond, baby. <laughs> and I haven't actually even told y'all this yet, but the whole Cersei family is going to Paris for Christmas this year and I'm going along. And that's, that is one thing that Jordan and I had talked about where I knew he was probably gonna propose by the end of the year, but I really thought it was gonna be closer to the end of the year because I was debating if I should go or not because I was like, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm, I'm girlfriend and I feel like this is such a special family trip. I don't know if it's my place or not to like come along on something like this. And he was like, by Paris, you won't be girlfriend. And I was like, okay. This morning we had a Paris meeting and planning the like whole itinerary and the dates and everything like that. So that's gonna be really fun. I will be vlogging it. I think we're gonna have like two weeks there. We're gonna do quite a few days in actually Paris and then we're gonna spend Christmas in a castle like out in the countryside and then a couple days in Rome, I think. So that'll be really fun. So that the whole morning has been that. I've been texting my parents and they're having the time of their life. They love Fairhope, which is so great. It is so them. It has all the perks of like the hometown that I was raised in, Bernie, but plus like the beauty of the ocean and the beaches and all that sort of thing. Honestly, it's probably like twice the size of a, or three times the size of a downtown too compared to Bernie. So so many more restaurants and shops and things like that. Um, so they're having the time of their lives. There's a really pretty hotel here called The Grand that my grandparents, my dad's parents honeymooned at. So I think that they went to go bike that and they're just exploring. So um, this afternoon, I think we're gonna walk around downtown and then we have a dinner reservation for all of the family plus my parents, which is also sweet that they've all coordinated that. I've obviously been in on none of this. So those are the updates. I still think I'm kind of in shock. We posted on Instagram today. So like, like knowing that the world knows makes it feel a little more real. Like telling the vlog and posting it online, both those things, I'm like, okay, it's like, like for some reason that makes my brain go, oh, this is like, this happened, this is real because I think, you know, people are congratulating you and you're like, wow, this is not just in my mind, this has really actually happened. We've, we've had all sorts of ideas, whether like in a year from now, so like a full year summer wedding, um, or maybe like he does a really early February, March tour and we try to do like an April wedding, or he's even like, what if like we do like November, something really simple and like we honeymoon and go straight from honeymoon to Paris and then straight from Paris, your lease is over, you move. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't I don't wanna rush it. I wanna take my time. So it's just fun to like start having all those like, well maybe, well maybe type of conversations. But as of now, it's all up in the air. We know where, we know where we would want to get married, but um, not when or anything else. <laughs> They're playing cards. I was just finishing my makeup, but I'm gonna go play cards with the hand. Another afternoon storm came through. So us and all the parents are just sitting on the porch. We're hoping the rain will clear in a bit to go and go into downtown because did I mention I need to find a children's book for Kaylise? Because it's really sweet. She was a librarian for a while. She loves books. And instead of asking for cards at her baby shower, she's asking for people to like bring a children's book and like write inside of it, which is so sweet. I love that idea. So that's the one thing I need to get for her. And I'm sure I can find that in town. Things are finally open, so we're venturing out into town. We're going to a spot called Page and Palette, which is a coffee shop and bookstore, which is great because that guy wants coffee and I want a book. So I think they're open. Are they? So there's a coffee shop on this side and then a bookstore through here, which is just so perfect. Wow. Here's some contenders. I feel like this one would be fun because I know it, but I have a feeling that she might get this one because it's super popular. Mallory brought out these. This one is so cute. I just like the colors. <laughs> Maybe I could too. Why not? So we've made it to the Grand Resort, which this is the hotel that my grandparents honeymooned at. And they do this thing before tea time, um, like tea time, not like golf tea time, <laughs> every day where they have like this historical presentation and they shoot this cannon over here. And the guy that does that, oh, they're starting, is a friend of the Circe's and he's actually legally blind which I always think is just quite an interesting fact for the guy that shoots the cannon every day. <laughs> but it'd be fun to see him and see him do his thing and 
Look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful it is, you know? Three, two, one. Wow. We're about to head off to a big old family dinner and I kind of want to end just like a dinner montage. So before that, I wanted to get your thoughts. How are you feeling? I feel great. This we, has been the best week. We've been engaged for at least 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Did it like feel different waking up this morning? In like a very great way. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah? We did. Yeah. Locked in. Yeah? Yeah. It was such a sweet weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm sad to leave tomorrow. Yeah. But then we only have one week apart until we're in Hawaii. And we'll be fiancés in Hawaii. Fiancés! Look at that rock. Look at those rocks. Plural, 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 plural. I love you. Let's go get some dinner. Okay. Okay.